Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Gnana Amrita channel. In this video, we are discussing the function for concatenating to singly linked list. Observe below figure. PTR1 is pointing to list 1 and PTR2 is pointing to list 2. Here, our objective is to append or concatenate list 2 to list 1. In order to do that, we require one temporary pointer. In order to do that, we require one temporary pointer. Okay. Next, initially temp equal to PTR1. Initially temp is pointing to PTR1. Okay. Now where PTR1 is pointing, that is 1010. Now temp is also pointing to 1010. Okay, here we need to traverse okay, at the end of the least one by using temporary variable. How we are going to do that? Okay, initially temp is pointing to PTR1. Now we need to move from node 1 to node 2. How we are moving? moving? Okay, temp equal to temp of link. Okay, here we are checking whether temp of link equal to null. No, so that we need to move temp is equal to temp of link. It is pointing this node that is 1020. Next again we need to check this condition whether temp of link is not equal to null. S our uh, temp of link is not equal to null. So that we need to move temp is equal to temp of link. Next now temp is pointing to this node that is 1030. Now again we need to check whether temp of link is not equal to null. Okay. Now our condition become false. Once condition become false, okay. Once it reaches a null condition, okay, we need to establish new connection. Temp of link equal to PTR2. Temp of link equal to PTR2. See here. Temp of link it is pointing to PTR2. What is the address of PTR2 here? 1040. Now we need to write here 1040 address of PTR2 we need to write temp of link by doing this okay by establishing this connection we are appending list 2 to list 1 understood right very simple now same thing uh, we will observe code for this okay here initially we created one uh, node that is our list node initially it contain two fields one is data field and uh, link field see here data field and link field next here we are uh, declared two pointers that is ptr1 and ptr2 ptr1 is pointing to list 1 and ptr2 is pointing to list 2 after that uh, we created a type def struct list node we are created uh, our own data type node of type structure Next here we are written concatenation function. Okay. Next uh, first we need to obtain our temporary pointer. Right. Okay. First we are uh, declaring temporary pointer. Next we are checking whether least one is empty or not. If it is empty. If least one is empty we are returning pointer to. See here. Just we are checking whether PTR1 is empty or least one is empty. We are returning PTR2. Next condition, we are checking whether list2 is empty or not. Okay, by using this pointer, we are checking whether list2 is empty. If it is empty, we are returning PTR1 from this function. Here in our uh, example, both conditions are false. Okay, PTR1 is not equal to null. Sorry, PTR1 is uh, equal to null. No. Next, we are checking PTR2 is equal to null. No, uh, both conditions are false. Next, we are moving next statement. Okay, here we are using iterative statement. Okay, next, uh, initially we are assigning temp equal to PTR1. See here, initially temp equal to PTR1. Where PTR1 is pointing, now temp is also pointing to same node. That is 1010. Next, we are checking one simple condition. Temp of link is not equal to null. Temp of link, this field, not equal to null. Our test condition is true. Once condition is true, 
we are moving temp equal to temp of link now temp of link is pointing to next node that is 1020 see here we are uh, ending with a for loop here itself for loop is repeating itself next again we are checking temp of link is not equal to null yes temp of link is not equal to null once again our test condition is true we are moving temp from here to here temp is equal to temp of link now temp is pointing to this node that is 1030 next again we are checking this condition temp of link is not equal to null condition become false here uh, temp of link is equal to null right okay once condition is false we are exiting from this for loop next we are going to execute this statement temp of link equal to ptr2 see here temp of link equal to ptr2 we are establishing new connection next here we are temp of link will contain address of ptr2 that is 1040 okay by doing this uh, uh, we are uh, okay concatenating least 2 to least 1 now resultant list will be available in ptr1 right so that we are returning ptr1 from this concatenation function understood right all of you very simple thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you thank you one and all